Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump set to meet with big three auto CEOs. I want new plants to be built here for cars sold here. By Tyler Durden. After months of threatening to levy a 35% border tax of cars imported from Mexico, Trump will sit down with the CEOs of the big three domestic auto manufacturers this morning to discuss ideas on how to keep manufacturing jobs in the U.S. Trump sent the following tweet previewing the meeting saying he wants plants to be built here for cars sold here. We suspect the meeting will include a little tit-for-tat with auto executives seeking to cut onerous Obama regulations including the fuel efficiency standard he signed into law back in 2011 requiring OEM fleets to have an average 54.5 miles per gallon fuel economy rating by 2025. Per a statement from Sean Spicer, the White House will be looking for any and all ideas from the big three CEOs on how to keep jobs in the U.S. per Reuters. It will be the first time the CEOs of the big three automakers meet jointly with the U.S. president since a July 2011 session with then-President Barack Obama to tout a deal to nearly double fuel efficiency standards to 54.5 miles per gallon by 2025. Fiat Chrysler is the Italian-American parent of the former Michigan-based Chrysler. White House spokesman Sean Spicer on Monday said Trump looks forward to hearing their ideas about how we can work together to bring more jobs back to this industry. Of course, this meeting with auto execs come after months of tweet storms from the president which sent a very clear message to businesses looking to offshore manufacturing operations that imports would be hit with a massive 35 percent tariff. Here is a December 4 tweet storm from the president-elect on the topic. And while the mainstream media will likely continue to paint Trump's initial meetings with business leaders as an unwelcome attempt to meddle in their affairs, we suspect the unemployed people of Detroit, those who used to vote Democrat and flipped to Trump in a big league way in November, won't mind a bit. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.